Welcome to Life with Bubbles, the talk show where we discuss life with, with, with me, Bubbles. <laughs> Today, we are meeting someone whose life was changed when he discovered the hard way that the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Please put your hands together for Paul. Oh, welcome, Paul. Thanks very much, Bubbles. Thanks for having me. Well, now, just before we get started, mm-hmm. is it Paul or is it Saul? Well, I used to be called Saul, but since the change, um, I tend ah. to be called Paul. Ah, okay, but the change is, is actually what we're going to be talking about today. To yep. start, tell us about your childhood. Well, I was born into a very religious household. Ah, oh, yes, you were so cute. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, well, thank you. And, uh, and my mum and dad, they did what all good parents should do, and they taught me all about the one true God. Uh, you, I believe you even went to a special religious school in Jerusalem. That's right. Uh, I was taught all about God's law and how to live a life that pleases God. Ah, and, and when you finished school? Yes, uh, that's when I became a Pharisee. A, a Pharisee? Yes, uh... yes. Uh, we were religious leaders, and we were really, really good. At being good oh. <laughs> and, and making sure that everyone else was being good too. Oh, okay. And, and during that time, yep. you came across people who, who were on Jesus' mission. They mm. were telling people that Jesus was the king. And they were saying that people had to accept Jesus as their king. Mm. Well, how did that make you feel? To say that I hated it oh. would be an understatement. Uh, I knew God's word really, really well. And so I knew all about God's promise to send a king who would rescue his people. And I was really, really looking forward to God fulfilling that promise. Yeah, yeah. So I was horrified when I heard that there were people saying that Jesus was that king. Whoa. Well, why did this horrify you? Well, because Jesus had been killed on a cross, on a tree. I thought there is no way that Jesus could be God's true king. So I made it my mission to stop Jesus' mission. <gasps> oh, well, when you say you made it your mission to stop Jesus' mission, hmm. wh- what did that look like? It meant that I arrested <gasps> many of Jesus' followers and put them in jail. And I also approved as some of them were killed. <gasps> oh, well, but, but it didn't work. No, no, the message just kept on spreading. Oh, well, that must have made you very mad. I was yeah. furious. Well, I thought yeah. I needed to do something about this. And I'd heard that the message had spread as far away as Damascus. Oh. I was a long way from Jerusalem. And so I thought I need to go to Damascus and arrest uh, whatever Jesus followers that I can find there. Oh, but, uh, but it was on this journey that... The change happened, right? <laughs> That's right, Bubbles. Yeah. Uh, I was on my way to, to Damascus. I was riding my horse. <laughs> and then suddenly there was this bright light. It just appeared in front of me. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I fell to the ground. I covered my burning eyes. And then I heard this voice. A voice? And the voice was saying things to me. And it was, it was cutting straight to my heart. The voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you attacking me? Whoa, why are you attacking me? Well, who was it? Well, I didn't know. All I could say was, who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus, who you are attacking. Oh, oh, how did you feel? (laughs) How did I feel? I was shocked. I was terrified. This was Jesus. I thought Jesus was dead and Jesus was alive. Jesus is God's true king. Jesus is the king that God had sent to rescue his people. And I'd been working against him. <gasps> yeah. I thought I was doomed. Oh, no. Oh, but, but you weren't? No. No. Instead, my life was changed forever. <gasps> when you say 
changed forever. Instead of striking me down, mm -hmm. Jesus told me that I was to join his mission. <gasps> and Jesus' Whoa. mission is that people from all around the world mm -hmm. would hear that Jesus is the king and that people from all around the world would accept Jesus as their king. Wow, that is a change indeed. It is, and Whoa. Jesus is the risen king. And Whoa. Jesus will accept and forgive anyone Whoa. who repents and turns to him, and Jesus will send them on his mission because Whoa. the mission of the risen king, Jesus, cannot be stopped. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Paul, for coming in and sharing with us your wonderful story. Thanks so oh. much, Bubbles. It's been great to be here. Yeah, well, well, what a story. Paul went from someone who was against Jesus' mission to being someone who was sent on that mission. Oh, I have a funny feeling we're going to hear quite a lot more about this, Paul. Well, well, thank you for joining us today as we discussed life with me, Bubbles. Oh, I'll see you next time. Oh, thank you. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. For the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive two, three, four, the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, that is from Acts 2.30. From Acts to 38 Repent and be baptized Every one of you In the name of Jesus Christ For the forgiveness of your sins For the forgiveness of your sins And you will receive